doesn't the church have the right to define what is sin, what is marriage, what is family, and what it means to be whole before God? We need to refuse to create and demonize other people. In the name of Jesus, refuse to demonize other people. Part of what it means to be human is to lay down our weapons, to learn to live in the real messiness of life, everyday life, without the protection of weapons, to be in solidarity with other people across all kinds of lines without the protection of weapons. The struggle for civil rights is a struggle for human rights, for all human beings, and so those things uh, which belong to every other human being, belong to LGBT people. The reality is that this is not just about LGBT rights. This is about us working together as a community to do the work of justice. Part of my job was tucking her into a car seat or there's scenes of me putting her to bed and reading to her and fighting with her and like, and, and the, all of us having dinner and doing stuff together. And you never see that kind of normal domesticity about gay relationships. I think it goes beyond just gay and straight as well. I think as black men, we're portrayed in society as being violent and even bigger than that, being violent towards each other. And so, I, you know, and I don't know if I'm taking it out of context, but I, I think to show, you know, black men loving other black men, as the statement said, is the revolution because we are not animals. We are, we are not all violent. I don't know what we're scared of so much, but the fear, the irrational fear in the black church about homosexuality is something that we have got to begin to address. And I think that the only way we can begin to address it is to talk about sex in church, yeah. to talk about sex, to begin to talk about things that we didn't want to talk about before. I think that as we begin to look at these passages, we can begin to live more honestly, to live with integrity, and really live into the gospel witness that we're called to do. To find those passages that give us life, that celebrate how God has called us to be, and that we can see our sisters and brothers as equal in the kingdom of God. And when we do that, we honor God, and we honor what God has given us.